Let's do our part to help birds thrive. We can make our yards come alive. Hi there, my name is Brooke. Welcome to my homegrown national park. Do you hear that? That is the sound of a mockingbird. That mockingbird is a part of the ecosystem here in our yard. But what is an ecosystem? An ecosystem is like a community of living and non-living things that all rely on each other to survive. Our yard is a mini ecosystem with lots of amazing activity going on. Energy flows through the ecosystem. Rays from the sun feed the plants, which feed the insects, which feed the squirrels, which feed the snakes, which feed top predators like hawks. The creatures in my yard are connected in many ways, like web. Let's take a look at some more members of this backyard ecosystem. The plants are the stars of the show. All these beautiful flowers, trees, and bushes are like the superheroes of our ecosystem. They take in carbon dioxide from the air and give us oxygen to breathe. Plus, they provide food and shelter for lots of animals. Sunlight helps these plants grow big and strong. Plants use sunlight to make their own food through a process called photosynthesis. Isn't that amazing? Insects are the tiny workers in our yard city. They're busy pollinating flowers, breaking down dead plants and animals into nutrients for the soil, and even helping to control pests by eating them. Now let's talk about the birds singing in the trees. They're like the guardians of our yard, keeping the number of insects under control and spreading seeds as they move from place to place. Plus, their beautiful songs add music to our ecosystem. The squirrels, field mice, and toads are also part of the ecosystem. They help spread seeds too and keep our ecosystem in balance by munching on plants and insects. Hawks and owls are predators that might not be able to survive without the smaller birds and mammals as a food source. Everything in our yard ecosystem is important. And when one piece is missing, it can affect everything else. That's why it's important for us to take care of our yard and all the creatures that call it home. What would happen if there wasn't any goldenrod? Butterflies need goldenrod for food. Without these insects, birds might not have enough soft-bodied food to feed their babies. Without enough prey, hawks might not find enough food either. Remember, every little action we take can help keep our yard ecosystem healthy and happy. Like planting native flowers and trees, not using pesticides or weed killers, remembering to recycle. When we bought this house, this backyard was only grass. We made the decision to transform our yard by planting native flowers, shrubs, and trees. And voila, we created our own homegrown national park. And you can do it too. Thanks for listening. See you next time. Birds will make your world go around, filling the air with beautiful sounds, picking up seeds, putting them down. Let's restore 20 million acres of nature's habitats. Let's do our part to help birds thrive. We can make our yards come alive. Bird baths, feeders, native plants too. There are so many things that we can